Hey what's up guys, it's Darius, and this is my hands-on comparison here at IFA 2015 of the new Moto 360, the Huawei Watch, and the Samsung Gear S2 to find out which is the best circular smartwatch. First of all, sorry that my voice is sore, I still have a cold. Anyways, since I don't own these smartwatches, I couldn't really take them to a different booth and hold them side by side, but I have played around with all of them, and these are just my impressions and overall how they compare. Starting with the new Moto 360, this is obviously the successor to the extremely popular first gen Moto 360. It now has updated specs, a nicer display, and comes in two sizes for men, 46mm, which is about the same size as the last model, and a new 42mm one. Also, there's now a 42mm woman's option and a sport version. Personally, since I have small wrists, I prefer the 42mm one with a metal band like the one I have here. A couple things that have changed hardware-wise from the last generation is the power button for example, which is now at a 2 o'clock position. Also, it now has quick release bands, which is great. Sadly, it still has that black bar at the bottom, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. Now it still charges wirelessly with that cool wireless charging dock and speaking of that, Motorola promises that the larger 46mm one will last 2 full days of use and the smaller one 1.5. One right now I can't comment on that but if that's true that would be awesome. Of course it runs the newest version of Android Wear and that means it's now compatible with iOS which is great. It still comes with Moto Maker and it's more customizable than ever. It starts at 299 for the 42mm one with a standard leather band and depending on the customization the price goes up. Now the Huawei watch is actually fairly similar to the Moto 360 but there are some key differences. It only comes in a 42mm size and it isn't as customizable but there are also a lot of different styles to choose from. Specs wise they're identical, it also runs the newest version of Android Wear so it's also compatible with iOS and both are also IP67 rated. Sadly, the Huawei watch doesn't feature wireless charging, but rather a magnetic charging cradle. Huawei says it will last 1.5 days on a charge, but again, I have no idea how accurate that is. The biggest difference is the display. While it has a larger bezel than the Moto 360, it sports a completely round display. Also it comes in at a higher 286 ppi, and it's an AMOLED screen versus IPS, and what makes the Huawei watch so expensive is the sapphire crystal protecting the display. I love that and my watch also has a software crystal. It starts at $349 and goes up all the way up to $800. The Samsung Gear S2 is probably the most unique one out of these. The normal S2 comes in black or white and looks very futuristic and comes with quick release bands. Now there's also a Gear S2 Classic which looks more like a traditional watch and I much prefer it. And now while it only comes in black, you can use any band you like which is awesome. It has two buttons on the side, but the coolest part is that the bezel turns and is used for scrolling and navigation through the UI. That's a great way of interacting with a smartwatch and it's much better than the digital crown on the Apple Watch for example. Software wise, it runs Tizen and not Android Wear. I actually really like it and it's very functional, you have all your apps, S-Voice and even Samsung Pay. What is great is that now it works with all Android devices that run Android 4.4 and above. But since it's not running Android Wear, it's not compatible with iOS like the other ones. Battery life is supposed to be around 2 to 3 days, but honestly that seems a little high. We will see how it's actually in real life. The price has not been announced yet, but my guess is that it's gonna be between 3 and 400 dollars. To sum it all up, the Moto 360 is by far the most customizable one, coming in two sizes and with Moto Maker. The Huawei watch is the most luxurious one because of that sapphire display, but it's probably also the most expensive one. The Gear S2 is the most functional one, with that awesome rotatable bezel and Tizen which is very useful, but obviously if you're on iOS then you can't use it. Definitely let me know which one you prefer in the comments down below. I love all of them, but since I tend to scratch my watches, I would go with the Huawei watch again because of that sapphire display. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a like down below and don't forget to subscribe for more IFA coverage. See you guys in the next one. Bye.